So this bag is made specifically for Leica M systems. Um, as you can see right here, there is a red dot on the buckle strap right here, only on one side. And there's also a red dot on the shoulder strap. The red dot signifies Leica, you know, Leica with their red dot. But this is an all full grain leather bag and it holds, uh, what's really cool about it is when you open it up, you have the classic Leica red interior. So you have the full leather with the Leica interior and it's designed to hold a Leica M with a lens attached, uh, two to three other lenses in the bag. Um, I have the Leica M240 with a 50 Nocton attached in the bag. Um, I also have a little snap shooter here, the uh, Nikon J1. I also have a 100 millimeter Leica lens, uh, a vintage lens in here. Um, and in the front, you can see there's a zipper pocket. So this pocket actually will zipper closed right here, zipper open, and inside, I, there's pockets inside. It's very hard to get on camera like this, but there's pockets inside. I have a phone into the pocket here. I have a wallet in here. I have the Leica M battery charger in the other pocket, which it fits perfectly. You can also fit film, spare battery, uh, whatever you like. Um, also, inside here, it will hold a full-size iPad, and it has a back pocket, which I have a Kindle in the back pocket. So you can carry quite a bit of uh, things in here. It also has the strap here if you want to put it over your carry-on, roll-on luggage. So it's a very nice bag, very nice quality. It fits over the shoulder, over the body very nicely. So as you're walking, you can open it up. You have access to your camera. Uh, just like other Ona bags, you have the metal buckles right here. And as you walk, if you leave them unlatched, you might get some noise. But uh, I noticed that with the Ona Union Street, the Ona Brixton, uh, those two bags especially. So again, uh, this bag is full leather, comes in at $369. Um, it's also 3.1 pounds. But when you say $369 for a camera bag, well, there's, there's bags that are much more expensive, bags like the Fog Bag, uh, that come in at now 600 bucks to hold a Leica and two lenses. Uh, there's Billingham bags, which go from 250 on up to $600 or more. Uh, there's Artisan and Artist bags that regularly sell for four, five, six hundred $600, some of them $300. So for $369, you are getting a super high quality bag that looks nice, it, it's not just a functional camera bag. It's for those who want something stylish. Not everybody wants something stylish. A lot of people would prefer to just have like a think tank black fabric bag that comes in at 90 bucks, 100 bucks. Understated, easy, you don't have to worry about it. Some people like fashion. Some people just like to have their bags look cool and be functional at the same time. And sometimes that can be hard because sometimes you have a really cool nice looking uh, functional bag and it's either too big or too stiff or too wide or too long or too high. Uh, this is the one Ona bag that I greatly prefer over the Union Street and the Brixton because it's just the right size. It's kind of like a satchel and over time it's kind of soft out of the box but it's a little stiff but it's still a little soft. But over time, say two or three months even, of traveling or taking it out with you every day, it's going to get scratched, it's going to get uh, wore in, it's going to become your own. I traveled with the Brixton, the all leather Brixton, and within three months um, it was scratched up and it looked like it was 20 years old. In fact, I was at an airport and a woman behind me said, oh, I love your bag, it's just a classic bag. How long have you had that bag? You must have been traveling with it for years. I said, actually, it's only three months old. But um, she was shocked that it wore in so quickly. So these bags do wear in quickly um, over time if you use them. They become soft, they become uh, scuffed up and the, the changes in the color, the patina, it gets really rich looking. Um, so these bags are uh, bags that will, you know, the longer you use it, the more it will reward you with stunning good looks. 
So this bag might not be for everyone. Um, a lot of people, like I said, don't like fashionable bags like this. Um, and you have competitors. There's Billingham. You can get the Hadley Pro. Uh, I think it's like 300 bucks, 289. But it's not full leather. It has cloth and leather. Um, this bag here, it does have the pockets underneath. So if it rains, it will keep the water out, as you can see. So that's implemented very nicely. So the Ona Berlin for the Leica M system, they're selling it as a limited edition for the Leica M system, but because of its size, it's also perfect for any mirrorless system. I tried this out with the uh, Olympus Micro Four Thirds cameras. I tried it um, with other cameras, and any mirrorless system, even the Fujis, will fit in this bag. So if you want something stylish, something cool, something to protect your investment, something to travel with, walk the streets with, Yes, it looks a little pricey, but um, some people might say it looks like a purse, a man purse, which it kind of does. But some people like that. So if you like this bag and you have an M system, if you're looking for something tough, nice thick leather that will wear in over time, take a look at the Ona Berlin. It's on their website right now. I'll put the link in the description. I also have a little written words and some photos up on the website at stifaphoto.com. So you can take a closer look. And this bag just launched today. So uh, you can order it now. And Ona says it's limited edition. I don't know what that means exactly. I don't know how limited. I actually asked them if they can make this bag in black. How striking would this be in black leather with the red dot and the red interior like this and uh, also having it wear in over time? Because a lot of people like black. But this, they're going with the classic brown. This looks like an old school classic Leica bag. Actually, somebody on my Facebook posted a picture of one that looks just like it. Uh, I think it was from the 80s. So there you go. The Ona Berlin, $369, limited edition. And you can buy it directly at Ona in the link in the description or on my website at stifaphoto.com. Thanks, and hope you enjoyed this quick look at the bag. Bye.